Hello, Young Scholars. This is Martyron with your flip classroom comparing the three types of branches of Christianity. In this video, we're going to compare Roman Catholic to Lutheran to Calvin. In class, we compared Roman Catholic to Lutheran. Now we're going to add another component, Calvin. Now, in your notes, I would just put a bracket or draw somewhere that Lutheran and Calvin are Protestant. They're both Protestant faiths. So there's going to be these two faiths are going to have some similarities. They're going to have more in common than than they will with uh, Roman Catholic. So let's start. How does the Catholic Church ha have their authority? Where do they get their authority from? Well, in class, we said that the Catholic Church gets their authority from the Pope, the Bible, and the church hierarchy. The Pope, the Bible, and the church hierarchy. We said that Catholics will recognize the papal authority. They recognize the authority of bishops and priests and monsignors, and all of those people, uh, men, play into the role of the Catholic Church. Lutherans believe that the Bible alone is the only source of church authority, and so do Calvin's. They all both believe, because they're Protestant, that whatever is written in the Bible is where priests should get their authority from. All right. For example, Catholics, you can confess your sins to a priest. Lutherans and Calvins, you would only confess your sins to God and ask for forgiveness. Which takes us into how do you get salvation? How do you earn salvation? Well... Catholics believe that salvation is achieved through faith plus good works, and we talked a little bit about this in class, that not only is it good enough just to be a good person, but you have to believe, and those two things together will earn you salvation. What do Lutherans believe? Faith alone. Faith alone is what is going to save you and earn you a place in heaven. What do Calvin's believe? Because this is going to be a little bit different from Lutheran's. It's the term we discussed in class. They said that God alone predetermines. I'll just widen this. They said that God alone predetermines who will be saved. It's that idea of predestination. And that's an important concept. So if you're comparing and contrasting the three uh, religions, this is a big one. How you earn salvation. Catholics, it's faith plus good works. Lutherans, faith alone. And Calvins believe that in the predestination, that God has predetermined who will be saved and who is going to hell. In terms of the church hierarchy, we said that, as I struggle with the smart software, let's see if I can get it. Here we go. We said that the church recognizes popes, bishops, and priests. Lutheran and, Cal and uh, Calvinists have elected councils and a council of elders. Not so much that hoity-toity authoritative figures that the Catholic Church has. I'm just slide some of this over. So let's talk about religious practices because there are some fundamental differences here. So the Catholic Church believes in the seven sacraments, baptism, confirmation, communion. Uh, they also will pray to saints, as we talked about in class, where Lutherans and Calvins do not. Lutherans accept some of the seven sacraments, uh, but only God can erase sin. So, for example, they believe in baptism, but not necessarily reconciliation. Uh, and some in some Protestant faiths, uh, children are born uh, in the Anabaptist faith. You're baptized much later in life after you've had a chance to uh, read and understand your religion. Uh, but the big uh, difference between Lutherans and Catholics here is that Lutherans would argue that only God can erase sin, not a priest. And just like Lutherans, Calvinists believe that God is the only one that can erase sin, not priests. So if we're looking for the biggest differences between the three religions, if you will, even though they're all Christian, they all believe Jesus was the Son of God, he was crucified and died for our sins. But the fundamental difference lies here with salvation, 
adhere as source the as the source of church doctrine. Salvation again, we said faith plus good works, faith alone, and Calvin believes in predestination. And the other big source is this idea of um, where they get their authority from. For Protestants, it's going to be the Bible alone, and for the Catholic Church, it's going to be not just the Bible, but the Pope and the Church hierarchy. Okay. If you have any questions, you can replay the video, um, or you can post a question or email a question to me as we continue our study of religious changes during the Italian Renaissance.